Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna be doing a $1,600 full laptop gaming setup. And this entire setup can fit in this backpack, I think. I'm not totally sure Jackson playing this thing, so blame him if fit. it doesn't. Before we get into this video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Corsair and their Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT Gaming Headset. This headset comes packed with features, including the Slipstream wireless technology for super low latency wireless audio, Bluetooth support, and Dolby Atmos spatial audio. You also get the flexibility to use a wide range of connectivity options, like the Slipstream technology mentioned, Bluetooth, USB, and, and even with a 3.5 millimeter cable, along with the ability to connect Slipstream and Bluetooth simultaneously and seamlessly, making this the standard for high-end gaming headsets. Check the link down below to learn more, and special thanks again to Corsair for sponsoring today's video. So we've done a couple of these before. This is basically like one of our full setup videos where we take a laptop and then we feature a lot of cool stuff with it that we highly recommend. The last one we did was a lot more budget than this. This one being $1,600, about 400 of it is just extra screen, peripherals, backpack. So this one is a lot more expensive, but it's also for more of an enthusiast slash high-end gamer. Obviously, you can use the same laptop we have here, which if you wanna see the video on this, hit the on the top or corner. We'll talk more about it here in a second, but you can use any laptop you want, really. If you have a gaming laptop, a budget laptop, you can use all this stuff to make your setup a little bit better, and it's very portable inside this backpack, which we'll talk about here in a second. So how about not waste any more time and talk about the laptop again? So the laptop that we have featured here, which will be in a previous video, is an HP Omen 15.6 inch that has the i5-10300 in it, an RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gig NVMe SSD, all with a nice package all in one. You got your light up keyboard, you have a webcam, you have a microphone, you have technically speakers. We like to go the extra mile with these and include an extra monitor, a actual good headset, a mouse, basically everything you need to be able to really game on this um, and actually be somewhat professional with it because obviously you ain't gaming on this trackpad. So for the monitor, we have the Pixio PX160. This is a portable 1080p monitor, and a lot of people don't know about these. So this isn't like a traditional monitor where it has a stand and everything. It's basically just a standalone screen that's the same size as this. And a lot of times they come with tools and attachments where you can actually attach it to the screen to have like an extended display or duplicate monitors. Really useful for multitasking, especially if you don't have a fancy laptop that has two screens. And obviously if you wanted to stream from this laptop, because it is capable of gaming and streaming, this would be really really good to have your Twitch chat on. And it is just 60 hertz, so obviously you're not gonna be gaming on it. This is 144 hertz, so it's kind of a perfect combo. Pack, pack, pack. All right, let's talk about the peripherals. First up with the mouse. As you can tell, we went with a very Corsair theme here. Uh, we have the Qatar Pro Wireless, which is an awesome wireless mouse. Wireless mice are great for laptops because you just plug in the dongle or use Bluetooth and no worry about cords. You can just put it in your backpack, good to go. Um, and yeah, really awesome mouse and it is pretty affordable compared to some of the higher end Corsair mice or any other mice on the market. Um, for the headset, you gotta bring a headset around. Um, if you did wanna opt for something that's a little bit like less crazy to carry around with you, maybe like some earbuds might be better for a laptop setup, but we got a gaming headset because we're gamers. We want the best quality on the go and the HS70 Pro Wireless, again, another wireless thing is a, a great option for that. We love the HS60, but it's wired, so wireless version is just gonna be even better, you know? Nothing tethering you to a computer. You can run around, do whatever you want. Run around Starbucks, go to the bathroom with them and then come back and go to your laptop. Don't do that, it'd be very weird, but you know, maybe you could, I don't know. Now this is a desk mat. So I would see this mainly like staying at home. Most of the time you'd probably just leave it on your desk instead of bringing an extended desk mat with you to Starbucks unless you take up two tables put it together and make like a full gaming setup. You can do that, but um, yeah, it's extended mouse mat from Corsair. It looks pretty cool. It has like a little, I don't even know what they call this uh, color, but you know, you got gray, black. It looks really nice. Yeah, that's that. Black. Um, and uh, Grack. Grack. Grack? Is it Grack? Is that what they call it? Yeah. Um, but you know what? The best part is all of this goes inside this backpack that I have zero idea what the model name is. Is there something on there that you can this like? This is the L ton top out on top which is basically just a laptop backpack i'll go ahead and take it off and open it up and it see what cheap. kind of compartments it was 26 we got. 26.99 i believe 26.99 so we'll open it up right here so first compartment we have the traditional laptop supported uh compartment here with room for other stuff we got some bunch of pouches we got a lot of room for all your gadgets and then we have another one up front which is more gadgets. Oh my goodness, you can hold all the gadgets. So I'd probably put like laptop here, second monitor here, or laptop, second monitor, and then a bunch of other stuff in here. Um, and then you have front pouch, 
a little zip right here. Let's open this up. You Even can more fit 12 laptops. My gosh, though. you could fit multiple laptops in here. You've been iPad, you've been iPad and a laptop. You questioned if it would fit. This thing's Will got a lot of depth. You see, look, it's low profile, extendo mode. <laughs> low profile, extendo mode. Oh, it has one of these. It is just like my um, backpack that I've used for a while. You can put a battery bank in this little pocket right here, mm -hmm. plug it in, and then it comes out. I rarely use this. It looks cool, but I rarely use it. Because um, you gotta remember to recharge your battery bank and stuff. But yeah, so what we're gonna do, set up this setup, do some gaming on it, and then end the video with us packing it up and putting it in this backpack and showing you how portable it is. So how are we not wasting our time and put this thing together? Don't it look pretty? It does, looks quite nice. The Pixio monitor hooked right up. And one thing that's cool about the Pixio monitor is they do include a power brick, but we actually have it running off USB power and it actually appears to be working quite well. So basically the only thing you really have to power while gaming is the laptop, which is really nice. Only one cord going to a power brick. And think about it like this. You can be on the go and check it out. We are able to have dual monitors, a headset, a mouse, keyboard, like webcam, everything we need with no power at all, which is pretty cool. So you could stream at Starbucks if you wanted to, just use their Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and pull up a game, play a game, and then show what we can use the second monitor for. Let's say you're using that 3060 for some on-the-go live streaming, and then you can have like Twitch over here on this other monitor. Look at him, he just typed in Twitch Boom. in all Boom. caps on caps lock. Boom. So we're gonna pull that over there, and then we're, we're gonna, gonna have up. some games. We're gonna pull up, um, who, who are we gonna? Who are we gonna shout out? Who are we gonna shout out? Who are we gonna shout out? Tifu. We got Tim the Tap Man. Yeah, I'm a Tim the Tap Man. He's, he's, a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, cool Tim guy. the Tap Man. There you go. I got that live stream going. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and pull up a game. I don't know what game we're gonna play. What game do uh, kids who do this play? Fortnite. Yeah, but it's a Fortnite type of, type of thing, you know? Fortnite and if you guys wanna vibe. actually see some good benchmarks, we did do a whole separate video on this laptop where we benchmarked it. So those actually are good. We're just gonna show you the functionality of this that you could, in theory, use this for streaming um, as well as gaming and do some pretty cool stuff. All right, gamers. So we have this little top-down view for you guys to show a live stream playing in the background. We got Twitch chat and stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll just dive into a solos match. And we are using the uh, audio on the headset. I have it around my neck right now, so you can actually kind of hear something. But um, yeah, this HS70, I mean, I love the HS60. So obviously, this is going to be a great headset. And the fact that it's wireless, you know, I got all this, the ability to run around, you know, I can just be like, yo, what's up, everybody? And then come back this way and still be gaming and listening to the same audio, listening to Tim screaming when he dies and every single video game and you know diving into uh, some Fortnite and cranking 90s because yeah that's what we do around here and as Jackson mentioned you can see some more in-depth benchmarks of Fortnite and all the other games we tested on the actual laptop video and of course playing stuff in the background is going to have some sort of an impact on performance but it's still pretty smooth we are dipping below 100 though here and there so keep that in mind um, and we are on performance mode performance mode is kind of whack but um, also upgrading to probably like the i7 would be better for general multitasking like this this man intro has been going for like 20 minutes does this man like not actually stream <laughs> i have no idea all right so we're gonna go ahead and do a drop right here there's some loud boys in there some loud mouths frame rate looks pretty good and again we're still watching tin the tab man's intro how many times is this man gonna run his intro <laughs> got one. Ooh, easy kill easy kill on this laptop oh now tim's there finally thank god dude <laughs> And he's done. Slurp Master is donezo. He he's he's left the game. But yeah, it's still running really smooth. Um, it's great to have a 60 hertz screen over here. You know, it's good for like just watching videos back and then be able to game on like a 140 hertz screen. I, I just think it's kind of crazy. I don't see myself ever like you know. Oh God. Oh. Oh no. They finally did it to me. <laughs> what is this man doing? But yeah, guys, look at that. Set up great now. You know what the best part is? I'm gonna have Jackson pack this, pack this thing all up, you know? I just died in Fortnite. I'm mad, I wanna leave Starbucks. Yeah, let's show you how that works. All right, guys, we're gonna time Jackson here and see how this goes. You ready? Yep. Go. All right. So yeah, you know, you're, you're rage quitting from Fortnite. You just gotta go home and cry. Cause you're you know? at Starbucks and they're kicking you out. It's closing time. Kicking you out because you keep drinking G Fuel instead of buying drinks. That would be something, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that would be something. Packing up. And I'm going safe with the packaging. I'm gonna pack it like I really care about this, you know? Which I do, this was a kind of expensive, so 
Um, we're gonna we're gonna put our mouse in here. We're gonna put our headset. This deserves a big pouch because you know it's a headset. They're kind of fragile. It's not a Turtle Beach though, so it's not gonna break on you in like a day or anything crazy. Not that um, Turtle Beach though. I typically like to keep my cables in like a separate pouch, um, so that the uh, the laptop is. I can hear the fans spinning inside the backpack. <laughs> it's like must cool myself. Yeah, I kind of I kind of goofed here because. I have the headset. I'm just gonna put this in the, you know, obviously you could cable. Actually, no, what am I doing? I forgot, this is in its own pouch. Gosh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, monitor. Okay. All right, monitor cables are also going to go with the laptop cable. Because you always wanna have the cables in the same spot. Otherwise you're gonna be digging for them later and you're never gonna find them. I don't know if the monitor's gonna fit in this one now. It fits. It fits, sits, it fits. You gotta get that on your back and just run out of here and then that's when your time stops, all right. God, this backpack's hot from the laptop, dude. <laughs> mom! Oh, <laughs> oh no, the mouse mat! Wow, oh. your mom would have been really mad if you left that at Starbucks. Wait, what is this? There's a pouch back here? Yeah, there's a the back heck? pouch, just for security right, measures. Where is right. that gonna go? Wow, this man was gonna uh, leave well, his This extended... is actually really flexible, so this shouldn't be a big deal. I know my mom would have killed me. She would have been so like, like I just not, got you that for your birthday. Yeah, I'm not buying you a new one, Timmy. Timmy the Tap Man. Timmy the Tap Man. That's just gonna go right in here for now. Right, we're running. I'm and running. There he goes. I'm running. And it looks like that took him a grand total of two minutes and 17 seconds. Not too shabby. Let's wrap this video up, shall we? All right, guys. So in conclusion, laptop setups are pretty cool. Of course, we do always recommend going with a desktop because this is a little bit weird if you're just going to buy this all for like your first setup. Although if you are on the go a lot, this does make total sense. You could easily have like a docking station set up at your home desk that you plug all this stuff into and then take your laptop on the go and come back to this being your home setup. In that case, I probably would just get like an actual monitor. But if you really feel like a portable monitor will be really beneficial to you, then this could be a great setup for you. And once again, you can use your laptop. You don't have to use this specific laptop. All this stuff will work really well. So be sure to use the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links and they do help us out and pick up this stuff today. So we really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So Matt, I've been getting really into Fortnite lately, but the problem is I don't have a permanent setup. I'm on the go all the time. You should buy this. You can actually buy this. It's probably not gonna be there by the time you go there. But PCBros.tech, again, take a look at that website. It's our PC selling business. We normally sell a bunch of the stuff that we have right here on that website when we're done with it. So PCBros.tech, take a look, bookmark it, check it regularly, buy stuff from us. Yay, goodbye.